Hello students. Welcome to Cityscape Tutorial Part 2. In Tutorial 1, we established the first building on the corner. That is the main building. That is the building that is closest to us in terms of perspective. Now we're going to start filling in the rest of the street on the right hand side and the rest of the street on the left hand side. Alright, let's click on the line segment tool. So the first technique I'm going to show you is drawing a shorter building. So we've got the height of our building that we've already drawn. So the next building is actually going to have a different roof line. It's going to be shorter than this building. So I need you to position your cursor on this corner and then just come down a bit. Don't come down too far, just come down a little bit. Okay. And again, whenever we draw what we would normally see as a horizontal line, always has to be linked to a vanishing point. So because I'm on the right side of the street, I've got to link this roof line to the right vanishing point. All right. Again, decide the thickness or width of your building. Don't make it too wide, don't make it too skinny. So I'm going to pick a spot here on the roof line. I'm going to hold my shift key and I'm going to go down to the sidewalk line. Okay. Don't forget this step. Trace the top of the roof line. And don't forget this step. Trace the bottom where the building meets the sidewalk. Okay. Let's change tools to the pointer arrow. Let's deselect, click on any white arrow, uh, white area, sorry. And let's click on this line, which we no longer need. We can go to display, hide segment, or I'm going to start using control H. Control H. And there we've hidden that line. So now we've drawn the next building over. Over. You see how it's shorter than this building. Okay. So you can continue down the street, but what I like to do is I like to flip-flop. I like to draw one building on the right and then go to the left. So let's switch tools back to the line tool or the segment straight edge tool. And this time I'm going to draw a building that is taller. So I'm going to start from this point and instead of going down, I'm going to go up. So I'm going to hold the shift key and draw a very short horizontal line. Again, I don't want the difference of the two roof lines to be that great. All right. I'm going to draw the roof line. And again, I always start near the center line. I always work out from the center. So I've drawn the line, the wall that is closest to the center first and then I'm going to link my roof line to the left vanishing point. And again, remembering that rule that I always work outwards from the center line, I'm going to draw my left wall. So again, you decide how thick you want the building to be, how wide you want it to be. I'm going to start at the top, hold the shift key and go down to the sidewalk. I'm going to redraw the roof line, trace over, and I'm going to trace over the bottom where the building meets the sidewalk. I'm going to switch tools to the arrow tool, and I'm going to deselect first. Click on any white area. I'm going to click on this line and use my hotkey, Control H. Okay. Now, something interesting happens whenever you draw a building that's taller you have this situation right here. So, if the front of this building were made out of cardboard or a material that was very thin, this would make sense. But as you know, we're also drawing in 3D. So there has to be part of the roof and wall that is showing on this side. It may not be much, but we have to create a 3D effect right here. So here's how we do it. We click on the line tool again. And instead of just drawing a line randomly where we think it's going to go, we always have to use the rules of perspective. We have to link this point to the vanishing point on the right. So 
we've created a 3D effect here. I want to trace over this tiny line here from this point to this point. That's all we need of that line. This whole line and we only need a fraction of it. Alright, let's switch tools to the arrow tool, deselect. Now let's get rid of the rest of this line. Click on this line, control H. And like I said, it's very small, but this little piece here is so effective in establishing that 3D perspective. Okay. So I would like you to continue working down the street, kind of having different heights of all the buildings. What I don't want to see is, I don't want all the buildings, I actually don't even want two buildings that share the same height of roof line. I want every roof line to be a different height. So if I flip flop back to the right hand side, now the next time I'm going to draw a building a little bit taller. Okay. I'm going to link that line to the vanishing point. I'm going to draw the right hand side of the building. I'm going to trace over the roof line. I'm going to trace over the bottom. I'm going to switch tools, deselect, hide this line. And again, I have an opportunity for a 3D effect here. So I'm going to link this point to the opposite vanishing point. This is really the only time where this line crosses the middle. And again, I've got this tiny little bit of line to work with. Trace over that. Switch tools, deselect, and hide this. So I'd like you to continue building your buildings all the way down the street. And uh, I'll catch up with you in tutorial three and see where you end up. And I'll show you where, uh, where I end up. How about we do a save before I say goodbye. So let's go to File, Save. Okay, I'll see you in tutorial three. Keep going.